Hi guys and welcome to the fourth video of this entire series where we are discussing of Office 365 Exchange Online Concepts. Now in this particular video, I will be discussing admin roles which are available in Office 365 Admin Center. If you have watched the previous session, in the previous video, we discussed what is a custom domain, what are the DNS records which are required if you want to add a custom domain in Office 365. We discussed how you can add a custom domain in Office 365 and we have discussed that how you can remove a custom domain from Office 365 tenant. Now in this particular video, we will be discussing what admin roles are available in Office 365 and what permissions are available within those particular roles. And then I will be showing you how you can assign admin roles to your user accounts. So in Office 365, we have multiple admin roles available that you can use and you can assign to your user accounts. I will be discussing a few important roles which are available to use. Now the first admin role which is available in Office 365 is Exchange Administrator. If you assign this role to a user account, he will be able to view and manage the user mailboxes. He will be able to view and manage Office 365 groups. With the help of this Exchange Administrator role, a user will be able to manage Exchange Online Admin Center as well. He will be able to recover deleted items from user's mailbox, and he will be able to manage permissions like send as and send on behalf permissions. The second, uh, the second Administrator role that we have in Office 365 is Global Administrator. A global administrator can manage each and every feature within the Office 365 tenant. However, a global administrator will not be able to change password for his own account. If there is a requirement that password for global administrator account needs to be changed, for that you, you must have another global admin who can change password for this global administrator account. Now the next role that we will be discussing is global reader. Global Reader is similar to a global admin account. However, the difference is he will be able to see all the options, all the features which are available within the Office 365 tenant, but he will not be able to make any changes. So like a global admin account, a global reader will be able to view all the features within the Office 365. However, he will not be able to make any changes. Like he will not be able to create users, he will not be able to delete users, he will not be able to create any transport rule, or he will not be able to make any changes in security and compliance center as well. Now the next role which is available in Office 365 is help desk admin. And help desk admin can reset user passwords. He can force users to sign out. He can manage service requests which are created with Microsoft support team and he can monitor the service health as well. The next role that is available is SharePoint Administrator. A SharePoint Administrator can access and manage SharePoint Online Admin Center, so he can create and delete sites as well within the SharePoint Online Admin Center. The next role is Teams Administrator. A Teams Administrator can manage and access the Teams Admin Center. He can manage meetings, he can manage conference bridges, he can manage all organization-wide settings within the Teams Admin Center. Now, for example, like we have discussed Office 365 Admin Center from where you can purchase licenses or you can create and delete users. So similarly, if a Teams Administrator role is assigned to a particular user, he will be able to manage all the features which are available within the Teams Admin Center. Now, the next role which is available is that is User Administrator. A User Administrator can do lots of things like he can add users and groups, he can assign licenses, he can manage user properties, he can update password expiration policies as well, he can manage the service request, he can monitor the service health, he can check whether a particular service is down, uh, whether a particular service is working within the Office 365 tenant or not. He can delete and restore user accounts as well, he can reset password for user accounts, and he can force users to sign out. Now, the last role that we are going to discuss is password administrator. 
A password administrator can reset password for all the users and he can reset password for only password administrator accounts. He will not be able to reset password for any other administrator account, like global admin or exchange admin or Teams administrator. Right. Now let me move to my browser and let me show you how you can assign admin roles. So as of now, I am logged into my Office 365 portal and I'm logged in with my global administrator account. Right. Now let's assume that I have a couple of users in my tenant and I want to assign roles to this user, which is John Smith. So I will click on this account. And this will redirect me to the properties of this particular user account. If you will scroll it down, you will see an option which says roles. Under roles, you will be able to see manage roles. If you will click on manage roles, this particular window will give you a list of all the roles which are available. OK, so as of now, the user role is assigned to this particular account. It means this user, John Smith, does not have any administrator uh, privileges, so he will not be able to make any changes within the Office 365 tenant. He's just a user. So from here, if you want to assign any role to this particular account, you can click on this option admin center access. And from here, from this list, you can select any particular role that you want to assign to this user. Now, next to each role, you can also check the description. What exactly this role is all about? What permissions are included within this particular role? For example, Exchange, Administra Exchange Administrator can have full access to Exchange Online. He can create and manage groups. He can manage service requests and he can monitor service health as well. If you will check the global administrator, global administrator can do each and everything. He can manage all the features within the Office 365 admin centers. Same goes with other admin roles as well. You can check the description next to each and every role. If you will click on show all by category, it will give you more roles which are available and that you can use for your user account. These roles are for Dynamics, Exchange Admin Center, Exchange Recipient Administrator. You can assign Groups Administrator role to a particular user as well. If you want to assign roles as per the device management, let's say you have certain devices in your organization and you want to enroll those devices with Intune. So you can assign Intune Administrator role to a particular user account so that he can take care of in point, uh, Intune Admin Center or Endpoint Manager in Office 365, right? In the same way, you have Global Administrator account. The other roles are available for identity management. For example, you can assign Conditional Access Administrator role. This particular user will be able to create and manage conditional access policies within Azure Active Directory. Same way, you can add Help Desk Administrator, License Administrator who can only manage the licenses you can assign password administrator role as well. So let's assume I want to assign Teams administrator role to this particular user. So now if I want to save these changes, click on Save Changes, and this role will be assigned to John Smith. Here you can see admin roles is updated. Now, one thing you would like to note here that once you will assign a particular role to any account, it may take some time for replication. You might have to wait for five to ten minutes before you ask the users, before you ask the user to log in to portal and check his permissions. So now if I go to portal.office.com and if I log in with this particular user account, which is John Smith at 365 concept labs dot on Microsoft.com. John Smith at 365 concepts labs dot on Microsoft dot com. OK. So here you can see this particular account has Office 365 E3 license assigned. So he is able to see all the services which are included within this particular license. 
Moreover, he can also see admin tab as well. If this particular user will go to admin tab. So he will be able to see only the row, only the admin centers for which the permission is assigned for this particular account. Now here we have assigned him. Teams administrator. OK, so here we can see teams administrator role is assigned to this user. And now if I go to. Admin centers, he will be able to see only teams administrator. Sorry, teams admin center. Now if I compare this with a global admin. Login, so here you can see. Global admin account can see all these admin centers. Global administrator will be able to manage all these admin, uh, all these admin centers like security and compliance center, endpoint manager, Azure Active Directory, Exchange Admin Center, SharePoint Admin Center, and Teams Admin Center. But as we have assigned only Teams administrator role to this particular account, so this particular user will be able to access only Teams admin center. Now one more thing I would like to tell you that if this particular user will go to active users, he will be able to see what all user accounts are available within active users or what accounts are available within this particular tenant. But if you compare the options which are available for a global admin account, you can see add a user, delete user, reset password, and these are few more options which are available for global admin account. But if you will compare these options with Teams administrator, Teams administrator will not have access to all these options, which means the Teams administrator can only view the user objects. He will not be able to make any changes apart from the Teams admin center. Right now, apart from this, there is another way to check all these roles within the Office 365 Admin Center. For this, you need to go to Office 365 Admin Center and then you need to click on roles. Under roles, you can see a list of all the roles which are available. If you click on show all roles, the list will increase and you will be able to see all the roles that we were discussing under active users and roles. Here also you can see the description of each and every role. If you click on any role here, you would be able to see what exactly this role is for. Or if you will assign this role to a particular user, so what activities that user will be able to do. Under assigned admins, you will be able to see the number of users to whom this particular role is assigned. If you'll go to assigned admins tab, here also you will see a list of the users who has this role assigned? If you want to add any user, you can click on add. You can search for the user account from here. Select the user, click on save. Application admin role will be assigned to Bob Ross or any other account if you want to assign. So this is how you can check the admin roles in your Office 365 tenant. You can assign certain roles to your user accounts so that they can make changes according to the role which is assigned to them. So now. Let's discuss what we have covered so far in this particular session. We discussed what are the admin roles in Office 365 and how you can assign those roles to user accounts. Now in the next session, I will be discussing what user account states are available in Office 365. I will be showing you how you can delete and restore user accounts. And I will be showing you how you can restore user account from graphical user interface or from Office 365 Admin Center and from PowerShell as well. And I will be showing you how you can purge a user account manually with PowerShell. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in the comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.